What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Hack the Box walkthrough video. This time it's active, the IP address is 10101010100 and it's an easy machine, although it does have some good things to show you. So group policy preferences, Kerber roasting, stuff that we do in the real world and it's really useful to know. So let's get straight into this. First thing I do, like always, is an MMAP quick scan using the F flag, a fast scan to get some port results back to begin with. We can do a bigger scan if we need to later. So on first glimpse of this, nothing really irregular is there. You can tell it's probably a, a domain controller because it's got things like DNS and LDAP and Kerberos, things that you typically see on domain controllers. So we don't have a user yet. So the first thing you might want to think about is trying to authenticate with anonymous users. So with the SMB service, when you use something like enum for Linux, that uses null sessions to try and gain some information. What I did was use crackmac exec with the SMB flag, the IP address, and the username of blank and password of blank, and the shares flag. So this is gonna to present to you any shares that you can access on the domain controller without a user. You will find that you can only see this replication share. It's only got read access, whereas the others do not have any access. Um, and this is typical on a normal network. Um, well, not having replication as read, but the other ones not being able to see it as an anonymous user. So as we can read this share, let's go ahead and look at what's in it. So to do that, you can use SMB client with the IP address and the replication share. And we can go in that, just enter again. And that puts you in as an anonymous user. So if you do ls, you'll see that there's a directory called active.htb. So let's go inside that. Uh, and also remember that active.htb is the domain name, ls. Uh, you'll see these folders. So these folders are typically what you might see in the sysvol folder that we don't have access to. So straight away here, you might think, what can I gain from the sysvol folder, because clearly this is a replication of that folder. Well, what I would do is SMB client replication again, but use this C flag with this command here, recurse ls, and that'll give you all of the files and folders within this uh, share. So what we're looking for here is gonna be called group policy preferences. So it's this file here, groups.xml. So group policy preferences is a legacy way for IT administrators to administer their network and put out group policy. So this is typically found in machine preferences groups and then groups XML. So the policy, the group policy ID is here and then the machine preferences groups XML. Inside this XML, sometimes there's an administrator's username and encrypted password, which we can decrypt. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's take this directory here and go back to our other SMB client and just CD into that directory. Just do an LS, make sure over there we are. And then we wanna get groups and that's gonna download it onto your Kali machine. So if I just exit this so we can see that, clear that, we can cat groups, which we've just downloaded. And you'll see that we've got a user here which is SVC TGS with the domain active.hackthebox. And this C password is what we're interested in. If there's a vulnerable group policy preferences file, the group XML, this is what we're interested in, this encrypted password here. <clears throat> because Microsoft have released the decryption key for this. So you can again use Kali by taking this string, the C password string, put it into GPP decrypt, and that will give you the password for that user. This is a pretty big flaw that you see on some big networks. So this is something to remember when you're doing actually actual client work. So the user is SVC TGS, the C password we've just decrypted, which is GPP still standing strong. Now we wanna try and get into the box as this user. So firstly, let's see what more access we have to the box. So like we did before with a crack map exec, this time we're going to be using a user rather than trying the anonymous login. So enter that. And you'll see. 
that we now have access to users, sysvol, netlogon, and we still have access to replication with this user. So on a domain controller, typically you will see sysvol, you'll see netlogon, you won't see replication, you won't see users. So we've already looked in replication, so let's now have a look in users because this could be an interesting uh, shared folder because this isn't something that's typically seen on a domain controller. So to do that, we can use SMB client again. We can use user share at the end rather than replication and we can do the U flag with the user that we've just cracked the password for. So that's now gonna ask for their password. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste that. Enter that in. And we now have access to the user share as SVCTGS, this user. So now you can see that this share that's being shared is actually the user's directory within this domain controller. So obviously the first thing you're gonna to wanna to try is going into the administrator user. So let's CD into there, LS, and we have access denied. So this means we don't have access for all of these folders in the share. So let's go back and try and access the SVC TGS user, which of course we do have access to. So now if we go to the desktop, we should be able to get the flag, which we do. So if we now do, oh, I can't clear the screen. If we now do get user.txt, that's downloading the users.txt file. We can exit out of here and just do a cat, no, now I can clear the screen, and just do a cat users.txt, user.txt, and that's the flag. So now we have the user flag, but we don't have the administrator flag, so we need to escalate our privileges. So you can take a while and think about how you might do this, but the username of the, the user that we've just cracked here, the password, is actually svctgs. So TGS is tickets, it's Kerberos tickets. So that suggests this SVC for service and TGS for Kerberos tickets, it's a service account for giving out Kerberos tickets. So we need to do Kerberos thing here, quite evidently. And to do that, you can use the Impacket library, which is in the description if you wanna download it and don't already have it. And in that library, you've got a tool called Get User SPNs. If you use that tool with request, the DC IP address that we're using, and then the domain, the user, and the password, that's gonna Kerberos, and it's gonna give you a Kerberos ticket, which is this. So this string here is encrypted with the user's NTLM hash, this administrator user. So take this hash, put it into a file, call it hash.txt or something, I've already put it in there. So just go ahead and copy and paste, save it. And now we wanna put this into Hashcat to try and crack this string and get the actual password, which is gonna be for this administrator user, which we've managed to get with the SVC TGS user. So the Hashcat command you need for this, Hashcat minus M, this number to show it's a Kerberos hash, then the hash.txt, which we just created, which includes this hash. Then minus a zero, the word list, which I'm using rock queue, which is standard in Kali. And then use the force flag to just bypass any errors. And you don't have to use pot disable. I'm only using that because I've already cracked this hash and I just wanna show you it cracking. So this is what it should look like. It starts running, you can press S and see the status. And eventually, this is gonna crack the Kerberos ticket and give you the administrator password. So this is gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna be quiet and come back when it's done. Okay, so Hashcat has now cracked the Kerberos ticket. You can see here that the password is Ticketmaster1968, and you'll see it's cracked because it says cracked here, but you can see the password anyway. So take this password, you know the user was administrator because you can see the name here is administrator which we use by using the get spns now we want to log into the box as this administrator user and get the final flag so to do this you can do it in a number of ways but to be honest the easiest just using metasploit use the ps exec library 
here, or lock module options. Set your R hosts to 10, 10, 10, 100. The R port's always gonna be 445 usually. You don't have to change anything else other than the username, which is administrator, and the password, which is that Ticketmaster 1968, which we just cracked. So once that's all set, put in exploit. That will open up a meterpreter session for you, like so. I'm really not good at clearing this screen, am I? You can see that we're in a folder that we probably don't want to be, so let's just CD out of that, CD out of that again, do another LS. And this is a more recognizable file system structure. So we want to be going into users because we want to get this flag. Um, the user we want to go to is administrator. And if we do an LS, we'll see, yep, desktop is there. So go desktop and LS, we should see the root flag, which we do root.txt. So if you just want to cap that, there is your root hash and you have full access to the active machine because we privilege escalated. So you've seen group policy preferences, you've seen how to Kerberos by using the SVG, SVC user who can access Kerberos tickets for the administrator user. We've cracked it, we have full access. Nice and easy, 10 minutes. Thanks for watching guys. Come back for more, give us a like and a subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you.